The mills no longer run in Youngstown. Not much does. At its height, more than 100,000 hard-working men and women, mostly Italian immigrants, kept the factories humming, the rivers crowded with barge traffic, the schools overflowing, and the churches packed on Sundays. These days, you can't find a job. On the playground, you can't find a soul. And along Main Street, you can't even find a place to buy a cup of coffee. The old people retired too young, and the young people left too soon. Of those who remain, most gave up long ago. But some still hold out hope for this once proud city on the Mahoning. This is your city, my city, Y Town. My town, your town, our town. The one thing that's ain't is a sissy town. Now with all of us working together, you, Billy, Jamal, Raquel, Timmy, Tony, and Tom, we can bring the city back. As your Mayor White, I am with you 100%, if not more. As we used to say back in my plan days at Youngstown State, I'm all in. Are you? Great speech, Mayor. Thank you, Ralph. It's a still town that's falling down. People running out of this damn ghost town. Drugs, pimps, and whores all over the place. Cops, bullets tearing to my brother's face. Gotta leave before my body rots with disease. Gang green scissors turn mice and fleas. Youngstown, you love it. Youngstown, you leave it. I won't. Youngstown, Youngstown, Youngstown. As always, I want to thank Ralph for his able technical assistance here. Uh, you know, I know I'm a little biased, but for what it's worth, I'm really happy with this final product. No, no, it was, uh, it was great work, fellas. We really appreciate the effort, and it was, uh, it was, it was a nice work. It was good. Oh, thank you. Do you actually know that whistler? Uh, yeah, I actually know him, and I, I had to hire him, which kind of brings me to the matter of money. Um, cause oh, we had to pay man. him and, you know, there's a matter of this unpaid invoice. You know, I don't want to, you know, bring legal into this or anything, but, uh, you know, we kind of have to settle. Uh, you know, in case you haven't looked around here, you know, I mean, I don't think we, we've been paid. Have we been paid for what we do? This is volunteer positions. Exactly. We're going to get your m money. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. We'll, you know, Sophia will look into that. We don't have a treasure currently because we had to cut, cut back. We lost the treasurer, we lost the athletic director, we lost the parks and recreation, we lost the animal trainers. We've lost, we made cuts, Barry! So thank you. Uh, there's coffee and donuts in the, in the back there. Donuts? You know, yeah. if you guys want to get some real and Ralph, I don't know if Ralph likes donuts, but we have that. They just bought like a couple cases. Like powdered sugar, you got a uh, No, not powdered sugar, I think. I believe we have, uh, what is it? Uh, we have the uh, chocolate donut, we got ch chocolate donuts. We got some that don't have the chocolate. We got some that don't have a hole in them. They're just uh, flat donuts. All right, go okay. get that. Enjoy that, guys. Okay. We also have cookies over there, brown cookies. Okay. I really, really hate that video. I say it's approved. I say it's approved, and let's move on, all right? Okay, what other order of business you got here? What Slogans, are... but I didn't pick one. Slogans. Somebody say, I can write this reading. Eddie, that's huh? your writing. I speak five, six languages, and I'm writing many more, Douglas. Yeah, what do you got? What do you got, Douglas? All right. Yeah, there's a couple on the board here. Some of these are, some of these are gem quality. How about this one here? No one's old in Youngstown. That does not make any sense. How does it make any sense here? It's a vitality. You're in Youngstown. You feel young again. You're revitalized. You breathe the air. Clean air. Go oh, show me show okay. me what you could do there. Holy smokes. Why? What? Why exactly? Why can't you? Good job there, Eddie. 
Thank you, Chuck. Yeah, that was very ambidextrous. Um, can we talk about fixing things? Yes. Like the Olmstead Bridge. Um, a car fell through a hole in it last week, and they put a piece of plywood over it. Sophie's right. We need to talk about these kind of things that really need improvement in the town. Now look, this grand idea she has, that's a great idea that we could... Bingo. Yes. Yes, she... bingo. That'd be a good thing. Also, like, uh, bake sales. Everybody loves cake. Never goes out of style. Guys, you realize we're going to need some big money, okay? Do you know that? B I mean... Big money? What about the corporation? Yeah. They have all the money. We can't hit up the corporations anymore, the few that are left here. I mean, they're all tapped out. You guys have any real cream? This powdered stuff gives me diarrhea. Excuse me, Barry. We're having a meeting here? A covert meeting? Please? 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 Weirdo. I got it. I got it. I know who has all the money. That old broad that lives like up on the hill there in Wick Park, in that mansion, that creepy mansion. Her name is Don Cornelia Sapella, fifth wife of the sponge. The mobster, oh, that guy. Infamous Youngstown mobster. Wonderful guy, but a killer nonetheless. Sonny the sponge Sapella, like a lot of the mob bosses of his day, was seen by his neighbors as both sinner and saint, a dedicated father, a murderer, a drug trafficker, a pillar of his church, a corrupting influence on the moral fiber of his community. Wait, are we talking mob money, really? This is where we're at? Yeah, that's exactly what we're talking about here. Mob money, I mean, any better ideas? We just gotta figure out a way to get her to put the money back into Youngstown, that's all, it's, you know? Simple here, before she freaking croaks. I can't believe this. You're always drunk! Well, guess what? You're not coming home drunk anymore, so you can hump me! Okay, all right, fine, babe, fine. I'll go into town, go to Kenny's. It's okay? Oh, great. Go to Kenny's. Go to Kenny's. Do you want that? There, it's yours. There they go again. They yeah. were fighting. Now they're kissing. Look at that. That's right, Eddie. <laughs> it's a lesson learned here, you know? She threw all his crap out, and he turned it around. And uh, it's kind of like what we're trying to do in this crappy little town, you know? Everybody wants to leave. All right, Douglas, let's get moving here, right? There you go, there. Show's over, show's over. All right, let's try here. Hey, I do want to apologize uh, currently for uh, having to go to Don Sapella's house, uh, but uh, I tried to get to the office, and her schedule just didn't work out. Okay, today we show the sponge widow lots of love and attention, okay? She'll be glad to meet us. Watch. So if you give me like chewing gum. Oh jeez, my stomach's starting to gurgle. I hope I don't throw up. <clears throat> oh jeez. Is that Barry? It is. Hey, why don't you take a picture, Barry? It'll last longer. Sweet. Okay, everybody. All right, everybody ready here? Get up, Douglas, please. Come on here. <clears throat> Yes, hello, Don Chappella. How are you? What? Took us to the car, dear. This is. I got. Mm -hmm. Yoda? What the hell is that? Well, actually, it's actually Yetta, a Youngstown Economic Development Association. I already gave to those crippled kids. Well, no, we're not really crippled kids. We're uh, actually development. <laughs> your car, dear. Okay, here we go. I've had four husbands. Jimmy, Johnny, Ronnie, and Sonny. After Sonny, my last husband died, I just didn't want to go on. I mean, I'd already buried three before him, and I thought, can I find another man? Do I want to find another man? Can I be happy? Do I like my hair? When is the mail coming? What's the temperature? And then I heard a voice say, shut up. I realized it was the gardener. So I slept with him. I'm ashamed of that. 
Because he's Mexican. What was that? What was what? That was good as what it was. She didn't seem to like you. Why was that video guy there? Yeah, I don't know what he was doing there, but he's, he's up to no good is what he is. But we got to keep our eye on the prize, you know? Yeah, we're making progress. Progress? She, she didn't even let us inside. She wouldn't talk to us. She slammed the door in our faces. Um, she had a big gun in her sweater. I saw that. I thought she was going to shoot your chuck right in the face. Why are we pulling over? Yeah, we're going to pull over here, calm ourselves down, strategize, clear our heads, OK? One adult drink. Hey, Chuck, I got to get going. <laughs> Just one drink per person. That's, that's all I'm going to pay for, right? After that, you're on your own. Do they have smoothies? They got the girly drinks, Eddie. No problem. Why, listen, yeah. Don't break nothing. Don't swear. This is a respectful organization, all right? You hear me, Douglas? Yeah, I see that. Holy smokes and a banana. Look at this guy, Wendell. The legend. Who's all you? Chuck Wendell, we're talking about. I've known you for like 32 years. Pull on your leg. <laughs> Oh, son of a bitch, you're a joker. I got you. Yeah, you got me. Got me good. It always gets this guy here is hilarious. He opened for Sinatra. I didn't open for him. Well? Met him here, right here. Oh. Told him a couple jokes. He laughed like crazy. Oh, do you remember any of those jokes? Actually, I do. Yeah? Which one do you A zebra walks into a bar, and he sees this elephant with a football helmet on. So the zebra says, what time's the game, Tiny? So the elephant puts his drink down on the bar and says, you should know what time is the game. You the ref. Zebra says, fuck you, elephant. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's a great one there. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Uh, enjoy it, guys. Paradise. Paradise boom. So, Chuck, gonna want a room for tonight? Well, no. Say, thanks, Wendell. We'll get I can toss in the bath for free. Clean towels? No, there's no problem there. You usually get a room. That's all right. Change your mind? No, we're good, Wendell. Thank you very much. Yeah. What the F is happening here? What What the F is going on is F for fun. That's what's going on here. Mm, I don't know. That Wendell seems to be some kind of pimp. Pimp? Are you kidding me? We're in Bible studies together. Hey, everybody. Now, first round is on Mr. Wendell. Whoa, my goodness, he's like, God's got that door there. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what do you have? We're on porters around the house here. Oh. Ready to drink here or what? Do they have a smoothies? And for the little Hungarian fellow, something sweet and girly-like. Three porters and something with a number of them. OK, uh, Chuck, are you going to need extra towels tonight? Why would you look at that? It's the Whistler. Holy crap and a banana umbrella. Ralph, who else is coming? Oh, well. Guess we should get started. Oh. OK. There are elements in this city who want to continue the ways of Youngstown's unsavory past. But I, for one, have had enough. I'm watching Youngstown. I'm watching you, Youngstown. Well, some animals, when they're injured, curl up and die. But not Barry Winkle. I just grow stronger. Can you move over a foot? I got to put this cone down. Sure. Cone put okay, down. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, but you know, be careful over with this footage, because this is a store greenage, my friend. It is. And there are steel workers buried in there. I'm pretty sure of it, you know? Oh. I'm telling you, it's sacred ground, okay? You guys okay? Thanks for staying strong. Even after the factories first fell silent, there was plenty of noise in Youngstown. After all, there was still money. And there were those who fought for control of that money. There was the La Cosa Nostra faction run by Ronnie J. Pipe Fungarello. Strong independence like Sonny the Sponge 
and his rival, Funny Face Biondi. They each had their own politicians, judges, and the police on the payroll. The same old story, much like Chicago or New York. But what gave Youngstown an edge over these bigger cities was that corruption here was endemic. It was the city's identity. Um, no, you're gonna get hurt. Ah, holy um, crap, his ass is in my face. It's easy, I'll teach you. Some other time. Oh, you pick another time, I'll be there. I have to do the number one. Number, what do you mean number one? You mean pee pee? It's over there, Eddie. Why are we here, Chuck? Why are we here? What's a little thing called bonding? I mean, is, is, is that ring a bell? You ever hear that when you're walking around the little college campuses, you know, as a college man? I say bonding. Bond. I mean, you know, we're trying to socialize, you know, like the Indians do. And I'm not talking about those Bollywood guys here, you know, with the dots and stuff, they run around with the thing. No, I'm talking about real Indians, the ones that like scalp and smoke the peace pipes. Chuck, your boy has a hell of a voice. He just needs to sing real words. Douglas, go get it, Eddie. You, I, why have to just please do it. Please help me out here. Do a kindness. Hell of a voice. Oh, boy. I'm so nervous. Did you see me, Sophie? Does anybody know what time it is? You know what time it is? It's time to, uh, to get another round of drinks there, Shirley. Oh, no, that's yeah. enough. Come on. That whistler is so amazing. To the whistler. I drink to this. I'm whistling. I drink up there, my little Hungarian friend. And to Wendell. And to Shirley. 50 for the night. Oh. How much? 50. For what? Tonight, there's four of you. That's steep. But we'll, we'll pay it. I got money. There's one. Six. There's one. What is that? 28, so 40. Wait. Hold on. Oh, Hold good. on. Hold on. Oh. There you go. There you go. Wait, hold on. That's okay. That's You're a funny guy. I'm going to give you a little tip. Okay. A little tip there for you. All right. Wait a minute. Wait. The best funny man, Youngstown! Ohio! I'm staying in a spot that is Youngstown. Now, there are other fishermen standing in nearby spots called uh, Cleveland and Pittsburgh. There's all these fish in the water. Now, those best prepared to catch them, whether they be bass or bluegill, pike or perch, will have their fill. Is your tackle ready? Is your bait live? You know how to read the weather and the currents. I do. Come on, Youngstown, let's all fish together. Let's eat our fill. Nice speech, Mayor. Good, Mayor. Oh, that lonely girl on the porch of life. You sit there, you're lonely. I want to hug you. And here comes the man, the big man, stabbing me in the back. I don't understand that totally. I guess the guy shows up. He, the one guy was boinking her. I don't exactly know, but I mean, I, what do you guys, what do you yeah, guys think? Could you just watch where you're driving? I'm watching. You've already made a couple wrong turns. We could have been there already. It's not always about the destination, Douglas. Sometimes it's the journey that's before us. Yeah, this, this is getting a little strange. After last night and this, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, believe you me, stranger things have happened. <laughs> right, Eddie? Yes, like at one time, I walked into the ladies' room. I was like, what? What? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're sorry. When Sonny the Sponge Sopella was released from his third time in the prison, he was a changed man. He was different. He often had short temper, and in violation of his own code, he was seen committing criminal acts in broad daylight. My dad had this council seat, and when he suddenly died, I inherited it. Like, some people get money. I got a council seat. 
I guess that's kind of weird, but everything here is. Guys, relax. Play. I've got this. She's in my wheelhouse. I just hope she doesn't Play shoot us in the face. Tonight. The man you dreamed of for days. Oh, hey, the, uh, hey, Barry. Hey, Barry, I want to say one thing to you. Hey, what, Barry? The dirty in your hand. So I Hello, greetings. You. This is Chuck Colenso, proprietor of Colenso Heating and Cooling, Chuck's Carpentry, Charles's Salmon Sales, and a member of the Youngstown Economic Development Authorities. Leave your message after the beep. Wait for it. Thank you very much. Charles, this is Dawn Cornelia. It's Thursday morning, and I'm willing to meet you in your yoga group if you can be here by 6.30 a.m. I have a hair appointment, so please be prompt. Good morning. Well, look at you, bright eyes and bushy tail. Yeah, Eddie, hopping in like a bunny. need to be in the art store for work by nine. Sophie, there comes a time in every man's life when he has to ask himself, do I follow this path or that path? You know, I mean, the store is going to be open without you. It's, it will open. But what about Youngstown? What about Y-Town? Will Y-Town stay open without you? I have to be at the art store for work by nine. I'm so glad you all could come, especially you, Charles. Wait, there's no place we'd rather be, Don. You know that. Come on. I'd rather be in Giverny, France, where Monet painted water lilies, and where I first gave all my body, everything, to Sonny. So I prepared some snacks. Marty! I hope you don't mind. Um, are you kidding me? Mind? I mean, it's, this is how, like, gods from, like, the planet Zeus must have lived. Look at that, let's dig in here. Great. So, you all work for Charles? Well, actually, we... Well, we all work together, actually. Uh, we uh, pray together, we uh, play together, and uh, we also, uh, sometimes sleep together. But not in the, con not in the conjugal uh, way, not by any means. That is so beautiful. Uh -huh. That's what Sonny and I did. What, what was that? All of the above. All right. Oh. Look, uh, drinks here. Yeah. Fantastic. You got the olives in there. What is that? This is this is a wonderful time. Thank you for having us. But maybe we can just get down to business. Uh, see, the development authority, we have some ideas that could Were really... Were you a wrestler? You look like a wrestler who gave up on himself. Never give up on yourself. Never. Find love and put down the fork. A toast to Don Chappella and her hospitality. To Sonny. To Sonny. And all he did. Yes. Everything he did. Let's play charades. Eddie, did you bring a notebook or some stretch pants? It's my party on a Wednesday. Got no work to do, no matter any way. It's all about buzz. My friend Molly at the back door. Got everything, but that's the part the store does. Stop the back buzz. Every time that you like, it's a bummer. Just remember what we did last night.
engaged. I was a third year student, pre-law, YSU. My girlfriend Louise, she said, do something for your community. I thought that was, you know. So I ran for council, won my seat fair and square. Then I joined council with Chuck Colenza. That's when I became irritable and uh, not fun to be around. I was anxious. I had anxiety attacks daily. Louise left me. Dropped out of school. Now she she left me for a, some Latino mailman. I live above a pizza shop. All my clothes smell like dough. They're, they're playing charades in there right now. You hear? They're playing charades. I might have an announcement. As some of you know, I am a very wealthy woman. Possibly the wealthiest woman in all of Youngstown. It's not very hard. Shh, she has some respect for the bride. But it did not come without a price. I lost my husband five years ago in a terrible car accident. Hit and run. Remember that? But someday, we will be reunited in heaven for eternity. Before I leave this earthly cesspool, I want to do something special for my guy. <laughs> Throughout our life, we shared many passions. Sidewalk chalk art, macrame, pillow fighting. Pillow fighting. But above all, we loved our walks and our sits. Money is no object. I have lots of it. <laughs> I want to build for Sonny a lasting memorial. I want to build for him a bench that will be loved by everybody who places their bottoms on it. Did you just say a bench? Yes. And I want my new best friend in all the world, Chuck Carportenza, to build it for me. What? What? I am very happy for you, my friend, Chuck. Hey, I'm gonna build a bench. A real bench, Eddie. Yes. <laughs> a bench, really? We need new trees on Main Street. We need new street lights. Um, we need recycling receptacles. Uh -huh. There's plenty of stuff that we... Watch! Watch, have a minute o'clock. I don't know about a watch. Ah! Oh, did I kill the idiot? Is there blood? I know the CPR. Stand back away. I'll bring him back, Eddie. Oh. Bring him Bruce. back. Bruce. 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 I'll help you. Bruce. 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 Oh, this is, this is, oh, this is great. This is a homicide. Come on in. Come on, get Bruce. this light going. Get off of me. Get off of me. Oh, he's alive. Oh, my gosh. What do you guys think? You should have guessed it was you guys. Oh. The whole city council's here, huh? I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to kill me so you don't have to pay my invoice. You're all complicit in this hit and run. So one of those injustices that you're perpetuating on the city, just like with that woman uh, trying to seduce her for your ill-gotten uh, gain. Right. Yep, uh, you seem okay. I'm not right. okay. Youngstown's not okay, and you know why? Right, it's because people like you. Yeah. That's why it's not okay. Okay. And I am not watching you. I know what's gonna happen. I'm on to you guys. All right. And I'm invoicing you, you for this racket, too, by the way. You're paying for this racket. I should invoice you for all the things you're doing to Youngstown, all that damage because of you guys. What brings a town together? Jobs, children, church, parks, rivers, recreation? You got it. All of those things, but something much bigger. What I learned playing in dirt, team, character, determination, Blood, sweat, kill to be killed. You see, that nose tackle crossed me and wanted to bust my head wide open. But before he had a chance, I took out his legs. Was it legal? 
sometimes. Did it work? What do you think? Football's war. What do you think this is? What do you think Youngstown is? We're a freaking one in 17 team. Hey, mother, come on. Fight with me. Fight with me. I can't do this alone. I need warriors. J'entends ce que vous dites, vous me recevez seulement, mais vous êtes parti de votre maison, et n'y a pas de journée. Cette fille bien puisque je rêve ici, être mon maître, pas toujours de vous. J'ai une vision qui me hante. This is our schedule meeting. Every Tuesday, 7 p.m. We've had five meetings in four days, guys. Yep, this, yep, this is the only scheduled one. See, well, this one has more weight. Uh, Sophie, <coughs> excuse me, she has, you have the floor here? Is that blood, Sophie? It is. <laughs> why? Why? It's a commentary on the mob blowing up, making people bleed, blah, 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 blah. Oh, uh, Shirley, welcome back this week. Thanks, right. thanks, thanks. Are hey, you guys ready for another round? Better believe it. God bless you. Hey, that's a nice drawing. Is that a steak of SARS? No. It's a bench. Anyhow, yeah, what to drink? Uh, nothing. Uh, porters are around the table here and there, Shirley, thank you. And uh, throw in some cranberry juice and a little extra vodka here for my uh, Hungarian friend there. First bladder, first bladder. I gotta be up at 5 a.m. Only like soybean farmers and chicken wranglers. Those are the only people currently that rise at 5 a.m. So let's drink up. FYI, got hot water for the next half hour. I'll leave a couple towels here for you. Crazy white people. I don't know what to tell you here. Youngstown's like a train gone off the rails. And it's pretty evident, you know? You look around, you know, it's, it's just <laughs> gone off the rails. Yeah. It's into the woods, you know? It's into the woods by the pond. It's, it's crushing like plants, animals. It's crushing people's dreams, you know? It wasn't always that way. When I was growing up, you know, you'd go outside and look around and go, it's a great day in Youngstown. Yeah, sure, there was pollution and there was like soot all over your head and stuff like that. And there were trains and you couldn't hear nothing and, and uh, men were coughing up blood, but at least, uh, at least it was optimistic. Uh, what can I do? You know, I'm just one guy here. I'm just one guy here. I, I got vision though, you know? Even as a child, I could see things that weren't there. Sometimes I'd look around, you know, my, my mother would go, what are you looking at, Charlie, you know? And I'd be standing in the corner. And she'd say, Charlie, what are you looking at? And I, I was in a trance, almost like a voodoo trance, but I was looking into the future. You know, I could tell when people were gonna fall, like, they're gonna fall down the steps. Well, she was falling down the steps at that time. And normal people can just see, like, what's in front of them. They look around, they see a cat, they see their grandma, they see a pie, you know? But I could see the future, and I see the future of Youngstown. And what I see here is not good. I don't want to break it to you like this, but we're screwed. I know already it looks bad. The city's like in crumbling decay. And it's gonna get worse if we follow that crackpot Mayor White. And I don't mean that in any kind of racial tone. That's not where I'm going with this. You know, I'm not racist in any type of fashion. I don't care if the guy's black, white, green, yellow, purple, or fuchsia colored. I, you know, or transparent. I don't give a crap. Yeah. I mean, I like all types of people. He, you know, my, my neighbor is Asian. A I, I, guy bakes bread better than anybody. Just saying. And his, his wife's pretty hot too, you know what I mean? For an Asian broad. I'm not saying I go that way, that's not what I'm into. You know, I tend to like, uh, well, occasionally, you know, I have uh, some uh, darker skinned uh, girls, you know, from uh, Peru or something like that. I've gone that way. But that was long ago, you know, when I had a beard. There it is. What is wrong with you? Pull up further. 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 Enough already. I'm gonna get in. You're a terrible driver. Better get yourself together. Go see if Charlie's in that place. Marty. Try to look human. Yeah, I could do 
future, like a nice little, like, you know, extra, like, sword that's really long. It'd be good for you if you're fighting from a distance. Okay, I'm coming. Are you there? I'm coming, I'm coming. Are you there? Patience here. Is he there? Who's pounding there? Oh, hello, Don. Yeah, I'll be right down. Give me a second here to descend the stairwell here. Well, Don, thanks for coming here today. I know it was a journey there with that guy that drives that car. And uh, you want some coffee? I hate coffee. I can make some, like, uh, herbal tea for you, son. I got some no, that thank Chinese you. brand. All right. Uh, I got one sausage patty left if you want to have a little breakfast. No, thank you, Charles. Look. Right, it's fresh. Charles. Yeah. I got some time pressure. I need to know what you've done on the bench. Well, that's a good question in, in a serious inquisition, and I, uh, I'm getting to it, I have it, but a couple ideas, Don, if you'll bear with me, I got a couple things to just show you, might, you might be, have interest in. It's the eternal flame. What's that? Well, see, it's like the Kennedy thing, there, you know, with the flame that you light one time and it burns for like two billion years. Don't be, oh, yeah, it's actually not hot. <laughs> you can't burn. <laughs> but see, it's a tribute to Sonny who's getting his head blown up and burned up into a million pieces. Never. No disrespect. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Hammock, right there, see that? And it just spins around there, see that? You just get in a hammock. I know Sonny liked to, to be in hammocks. I was in a couple uh, myself with him, with no other women, there was no intercourse, any activity like that. Strictly Charles, a platonic uh, relationship. You're a sweet man. A little odd, but very sweet. I want my freaking bench. Have the model mm -hmm. ready by Tuesday for the well, council meeting. This Tuesday? Please, Charles, don't screw with me. I wouldn't do that. I'm paying. Right. I... But I've heard this is a public job and we need the mayor's approval and the approval of all you council people. Thank you, Don Corneli. Appreciate that. You don't want to be disappointed. You're not going to be disappointed. We got to do this the right way. See how much freaking money's in it. Oh, God, Barry, I tell you, get out of my shop! Shop? Hardly. You couldn't make a bowl of cereal. Oh, yeah? I can make a, I can make anything. What are you talking about? I can't make a bowl of cereal. Really? What's the main ingredient of escargot bourguignon? Bourguignon? Yeah, every cook knows that. I don't have to tell you. I know what it is. What is it? I know what it is. Get out of here! I'm not playing your games! You don't know. Yes, I know. Freak. Let's get one thing straight, and one thing straight only. There will be no bench. And we'll need that money back. Barry, in the car. And I'm gonna make the best bench money can buy. And it's snails, loser. Snails. Barry, get in the car now. There was a time when Youngstown could build anything. For World War II, they built tanks. For the nation, they also made the steel for bridges and the skyscrapers. And they made the furniture and glass, cars for Kronstein Motors. The Bluebird brand of ice cream was born in Youngstown. And so were Hollywood's Polinsky twins, actor Buzzy Brooks, and of course, boxing legend Johnny the Dancer McCarthy.
This session is now called to order. Madam Chairwoman, would you kindly read the uh, order of business for the day? Notice 431, an application to replace a storm drain on the street next to Growley's Hardware. All in favor? Opposed? Demolition of garage application by Harold Wagner at 431 Gembone Street. In favor? Opposed? Application for bench to be paid for by benefactor and placed across from the courthouse at 1000 Main, as indicated on dock by the estate of Sony Sapella, as represented by Don Cornelia. All in favor? <coughs> I'm, I'm sorry to uh, interrupt you there, uh, Madam Secretary. My apologies. Uh, very nice voice today. She do answering machines. Uh, hello, uh, Mayor uh, and esteemed council members. Um, <clears throat> my name is Chuck Hulenzo, and I'm a member of the Youngstown uh, D uh, Economic Development Organization. And here's a, a paperwork. You'll find that in order. Uh, excuse those, uh, those. That's coffee, not any kind of feces or anything. Hi, Chuck. It's me, Eddie. Holy smokes and a banana. Look at you there, Eddie. All like Elvis, you know, sort of like the pre-Hawaiian special. Very nice. Chuck, we don't need no paperwork. We know who you are. Paperwork keep people honest. He's right about that, man. You know, paperwork's very important, you know, and he should know because, you know, his people fought Hitler. Hitler? Chuck, Hitler ain't got nothing to do with this. What the hell he got to do with this? And I think you've insulted him, uh, Mayor, and you need to apologize to Eddie right now. I ain't apologizing to nobody. The bench. Can we talk about the bench, Chuck? Uh, well, what we're proposing here is a commemorative bench. Uh, that's the key word here, commemorative. That means in remembrance of someone who's long passed away. And in this case, it's Don Sapella's husband, Sonny Sapella, the mobster. And if you remember him, died a tragic death. His head was blown up and disintegrated. And she wants a bench to commemorate him, and uh, a very important bench, and it, maybe the greatest bench in Youngstown history, perhaps the world. And I'm going to build train. it. Hold I'm the train. Hold the train right there. We ain't building no bench. It's a conflict of interest. Uh, actually, it's not. I'm, I'm currently not building another bench. Come on, Chuck. You're on the authority that's appropriating the funds. I mean, this is the new Youngstown, not the old Youngstown. We don't do things like this anymore. I mean, am I wrong, people, or what? Uh, no. Uh, that's exactly what I was trying to say. You're right. I have to build this bench. Uh, I, I, you know, it's the widow's request here, Mayor. Is and I've spent, yes, I've spent money on it. Uh, I commissioned uh, artist sketches from the wonderful uh, Sophie here, who's uh, done sketches. I got coffee expenses. I, I bought a new rug. I, you know, I have some planters I plant out there for inspiration. I also bought a bird. So I got expenses. Are you guys okay with this? Uh, no, that's exactly what I was trying to say. You're right. Oh, thanks a lot there, Benedict Douglas. Appreciate that. Stab me in the back, why don't you? It's true. She only wants Chuck to do it. And that story. Well, that's one story. Here's another story. Chuck, you ain't building no bench. Why can't we just go out and buy a bench at the home center and maybe take the rest of that money and put it in some flowers or water fountain or something? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, Mary, pardon me, but back to the original story there that Eddie alluded to. Um, Don Cornelia wants me to build this bench, a handmade, uh, not some robot-driven bench that, you know, it's put out in some factory where people live in it and they sleep in it and they defecate in it. In some countries, they do that. And the bench, uh, we need to build it homemade, and I'm, I'm the guy to do that. So, uh, end of that story. Why are we telling all these stupid stories about one stupid bench? <sighs> one stupid bench. Boy, I didn't think we were going to go there. One, that's like saying one mayor white or one God, or one nation under God, invisible in liberties of death upon us. You, you got to rethink that, what you just said there. I'm sorry. Um, I did some pencil drawings of the bench. Oh, boy. This is skull bench, kind of like people that were killed. It's a sexy skull. And this is Ohio bench. Wow with a bullet hole for Youngstown. That's what I did. It's very good. That's nice, Sophie. I like the gradual shading. But I'm a tired man. Not old and out of shape. I do crunches and squat thrusts daily. But I'm tired of fighting. Look, Chuck, just go ahead and build a damn bench. But don't do what you did the last time. What are you talking about last time? What did I do the last time? I think he's talking about last time when you were supposed to put the sidewalk in in front of Jalermo's body shop. Well. Okay, <clears throat> looks like I'm building a bench. This meeting is adjourned. No, Mayor, he can't do that. Well, I, I second that motion there. 
Chuck, you can't second the motion. You can't even first it. Well, you know what? Chuck's gonna build a bench now. Gonna build a bench. Look out! Chuck bench. Chuck gonna build a bench. Gonna build a bench. Gonna build a bench now. Chuck's gonna build it. Chuck's gonna build it. I'm gonna build it. Build it. Build it. Build it. The bench. The bench. Something's wrong with that guy. As you may know, I'm opening the first mob museum in Youngstown, Ohio this fall. It's called the mob -Zeum. We'll have displays of actual mob equipment, like cement shoes and Molotov cocktails. In the gift shop for the kiddies, we have soft Tommy gun toys. Don't worry, your kids won't get rubbed out. Juice-filled wax ice picks, piano wire gum, and of course, little cement baby booties. Uh, this is the pond in Mill Creek Park where Sonny drowned up to 16 people, give or take a few. Naturally, they all had concrete shoes on that were in buckets, and Sonny also threw in a few that he shot and killed for good measure. On this wall, you can see the bullet hole. Sonny shot a single bullet. It went through here and into the next room where it rubbed out three people who were eating spaghetti and meatballs. Along these tracks is where Sonny dragged football coach Wallace Burton 30 feet to his demise. Happened to be a train was stopped at the time and Sonny tied Wallace Burton to the back of the 815 Express. Now, I'd like you to turn your attention to our special guest and former mob associate, Chuck Colenzo. Well, thank you very much, uh, uh, Russell. I uh, want uh, genuine human beings that we have currently on the planet. Thank you. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Even though, I don't know if you're Italian. No, I'm not Italian. Uh, no, the only Italian I know of is pizza, spaghetti, ravioli, rigatoni, fiat, Maserati, Ferrari, Maserati, Bridget Bardot, Marlon Brando. Well, hey, tell you, that's foolish. That, that pretty much makes you about 92% Italian. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I, I'm a former henchman mm -hmm. of uh, Sonny the uh, Sponge Sopella, one of the great mm -hmm. men uh, ever to uh, perish. Why do they call him Sponge? Well, I, I could tell you that, young man. Uh, if I tell you, I have to shoot you in the head. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I swear to God, I'm kidding. I'm on track for an explosion. Fourth quarter. I'm in the prime of my creative potential. When I'm through with this town, it's going to be unrecognizable to the naked eye. Gone is the old Youngstown. People on the street are going to say, hello, new Youngstown. Look at you, all grown up and ready for the big parade. You see, I care. I really care. The Mahoning is in my blood. This town is my soul. These people here are my brothers and my sisters, my family. If God allowed me to choose where I could live in this world and what I could do, I would choose this place this job. I love being mayor of Youngstown, Ohio. I'm telling you, are we going to let Youngstown bureaucrats go ahead and build whatever they want, whatever they want? Are we? I'm telling you, people, this bench comes with strings, and we need to cut them. Are you with me, people? I love Youngstown. Not really. I hate it. It's a trap a never-ending spiral staircase that leads down to some empty room filled with lies. I've tried to leave the Mahoning Valley several times since my youth, all with complete failure. Went to San Fran, Portland, Little Rock, Arkansas. Long story there involving a young lady, a guitar, and an experiment in kudzu farming. The weed that ate the South. I want to forget that one. But I'm back here now, taking care of my sick father. I really need to make something happen here. That concludes city business. Anyone that has any ideas for economic development that they want to share, the floor is now open. Old people like to have a cold one with them cheese sandwiches that they get. You can't have a beer in here. A uh, beer on wheels, something like that. Or <coughs> you start letting people smoke in these restaurants and the bars, because it ain't right to shake. <coughs> what the hell happened to your hand? This, uh, I hurt my hand in a bong explosion. Oh, would you just look at that? <laughs> All I'm asking you to do is just take a look at it, because the whole darn city's looking at you just looking at it. I mean, look at that seal. 
I don't want to look at it. I mean, look at these green chairs. What do you think of those? Shut up and get out of here. <laughs> flowers. We plant flowers all over Youngstown. Oh, it would be unbelievable. Hydrangeas here, honeysuckles over there. Could you imagine? No one comes in, no one goes out, which makes this the perfect environment for us to study disease. Giving people diseases? He said we would bring perhaps H1N1, which is a very popular disease right now. And we also have the West Nile virus, which is very popular. She would do very well in Youngstown. This is, you could do this perhaps during a parade on Founders Day. As they walk by, you just missed him, <coughs> missed him, okay? So now he has been inoculated. Oh, oh no, actually he's been given the virus. So we were gonna need to uh, track him. Are we finished yet? These are all bad ideas. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mayor White? Yes, yes, Mayor White. Mayor White, uh, pardon me, I just, I parked that front. Hopefully that's okay. Uh, <clears throat> Come on, Chef, let's get on with it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, hello to the council and Mayor White, your honor, sir. Hi, Chuck. Hey, Eddie, good to see you, Come girl. on, Chuck, we know who you are. You don't have to do this every time. Let's just show us the bench. Anyway, this um, is um, my bench. Uh, that I... The bench. It's still a public project. The legs are shorter than my drawing. Well, Sophie, you know, your drawing was a little bit off, actually. My drawing wasn't off. You're off. No, you're off. Yeah. You're way off. People, way people off. come on, let's stick to the point. Well, um, <clears throat> the aforementioned bench. What is that, a hook or something? Uh, what's that? Right there. Oh, this, <laughs> is that a hook? <laughs> no, that's a Y. It's a Y and a T for Youngstown. Youngstown, yeah, it's a Y town, you know? But but actually, a hook idea, that's pretty great. That's like, uh, that's a pretty brilliant idea. That you should probably be an inventor or something. Because you could actually hang your pants or something like that. You could probably put little shoes. Uh, I know Eddie likes to wear, you know, he goes out walking with a dog or something. I think he's going to get a dog. The holes there represent uh, bullets. Bullets of fallen Youngstown heroes and mobsters that will cut down in their prime just when they were making headway. Uh, Where's the blood? Uh, well, uh, well, Sophie, on this particular model, uh, I, there is no blood. There will be blood. There will be blood. I just haven't got to that. Yeah. Real blood? Well, not real blood, Eddie. I'm <laughs> it's going to be like uh, paint blood, I mean, yeah, so artistic blood, you know, so Oh, to speak. great idea. I have to be careful. Disease. Yeah, disease. What's that? A limb falls off. And, and where are we going to put this uh, blood-soaked bench at? Uh, well, we're putting the bench where Don Cepella wants it. And that is right in front of City Hall, where it will be blessed repeatedly by bishops that are to be determined. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that, Chuck, because it's not being placed in front of City Hall. Too much controversy. What's all my We gotta move the bench. Well, wh where's it gonna go? I don't really care. But you gotta get rid of the blood and the bullet holes. But what I wanna see is some receipts for that $20,000 bench. I mean, that sucker better be made out of solid gold. $20,000? Are you serious? She's about what? Yeah. But the bench costing $20,000. Well, listen here, it's a commemorative bench. Commemorative. And that alone, that word, which means very expensive items. That's what it means. And the bench, building it alone has been a very pr a problematic situation. New mattresses, new everything. I had to get new shoes. But I have, you know, Sophie alone. God bless you, I know she likes coffee and she's got ran up a lot of coffee bills. So I got, I had to put new sod in my backyard, you know, because of the bench traffic. What I'm saying is I also had to get incredible materials. These are the best materials. Not, not these, these are cardboard, but the real ones, the top materials that cost a lot. He's right. The best material costs more. I don't care. I better see some receipts on my desk Monday. When you say receipts. Yeah, receipts for all that special stuff. I want to see some receipts I'm on Monday. it. I'm on it. I'll get, it's not a problem. I get receipts. I have, Sophie, I'm going to get <clears throat> It, it, commemorative. Look that word up. Commemorative. You know what I'm saying? And it's probably going to be a little bit of blood. Not on public ground? Who does that colored man think he is? I will put that bench anywhere I damn well please. I've done my sweet. Or there'll be no bench. 
Don, listen, I, I did everything I could. You know, I, uh, I'm trying to work all kinds of magic there, but, uh, the, you know, those idiots in, in city council just don't have the vision that you and I have. And uh, I got to talk to you about something here. I, that guy, Barry Winkle, I think is behind a lot of this. Who? Barry Winkle, they guess. That guy there, that guy right there. That guy right there. Oh! Barry Winkle. Yeah. Oh, he's my handyman. Well, I'm not sure exactly what handy stuff he does. Would he hit here or anywhere? I'm not. I'm not sure. It's none of my business, really. None of my business. But uh, he's just doing some strange stuff. He's blocking the bench. He's a creep. You know. I, I, I'm just... I don't know what to believe. All these words coming at me are like snowballs hitting me in the face. Just build the bench, Charles. Okay. Just build it. All right. It has to be done. Okay, I got it. I'll build. Don't stop. I'm not going to stop. It needs to be built. Yes. But city council shouldn't be in the business of making benches or outdoor patio furniture or futons or. What's a futon? Not a fujon, a futon. It's an Asian inspired thing that you lay down on. They use it in California, cheaper than the couch. Never mind, never mind. Well, these couches have accent pillows. There are no accent pillows, there's no couches, there's no futons. There's not supposed to be a bench. Youngstown is supposed to go and do what's right and stop Chuck Colenza. Who is with me? Who's going to come and take a stand at Youngstown Council with me and put an end to the bench? People, are you with me? Are you with me? Hey, Mike, come on. Ralph. Thank you. At least one person. Of course, I'm paying you, but... I was attacked in 1971, trying to cross the Silver Bridge. A bunch of rednecks were standing there with guns. Damn it, that scared me. I was a young kid trying to make it home from work, and those cowards hit me with everything they had. 82 stitches. Huh. KKK was big right in the 1920s. Now, I do believe some of those rednecks was their descendants. I mean, no white hoods or nothing, but same white faces, same rednecks. Well, I'm the one still standing, and I run this town now, damn it. Why did Chuck ask us to meet us here anyway? He didn't say. He just want us all come. I don't know. He seems upset. Some kind of court. Hey, I'm sorry, guys. Why are you sorry, Chuck? Well, uh, uh, my plan worked. Oh, thanks for coming. Well, get over by oh, there. Oh. Right now. Barry, listen. He, he, think about what you're doing, uh, whatever the hell you're doing. Uh, I, I'm telling you, this is a real knife. I, I know it's a real knife, and I can get a real injury and have my dis be disemboweled with that kind of thing. There, will you relax? You're not going to molest us, are you? I won't, unless you invite. Maybe we go dinner first. Take it slow. Not you, Barry. I thought you were looking at me. Would you get the bench? Get the what? Get the bench. The, no. The, 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 the bench? The, what are you talking about, the bench? I, I, you know what, I could plug in a chair or something like that. I got like a lounge cushion. Just get the bench. Get the bench I'll just now. Get the bench. All right, I'll get the get bench. Let's do it. All get right, I'm going. Just go right back on there. That's no problem. Twenty thousand dollars worth of bench. You should. Th that's it. What do you, What do you mean, Dad? I mean, that's, is it, what? That's terrible. Is that mean? Is that like a street slang for terrible? Mean kind of cool? Uncle, what, what, what is with you people? All of a sudden, you're like bench critics. You guys work for like Bench Magazine or you something. Should be ashamed of yourself. What? I should be ashamed of myself. Twenty thousand dollars. It's not finished yet. Okay. Is what I told. Enough. Whoa, Take whoa, this whoa, bench. Whoa. Watch me get to the top of that car. Put the bench.
bench, on the blanket, on the car. Oh, thank, thank you, but that. You. Somebody help me. I'm not Mr. Atlas here. Everybody get in the car. In, in my car? In, in my, well, you know, I think we can't all fit in there. We probably should take Douglas's car as well. We're not taking my car. I washed my car this morning. That's out of the question. We can't. Uh, well, uh, we... Okay. Look, here's what we're going to do, OK? We're going to take Douglas's car, but I'm going in Chuck's car, OK? Where am I? You can go in either car. Which car has better lighting so I can sketch? Just get in Douglas's car, okay? Wow, unnecessary. Um, stop. You just hit a squirrel. I hit a squirrel? I hit a squirrel? <sighs> Thanks, Barry. Thank you. Thank you. Sophie, is it is it bad? Can you just pull over real quick? I'll just I just have a little thing I do. Probably was young, probably didn't even live a life. Probably has a wife and family, squirrels back there. Little baby squirrels going, where's daddy? Just went out to get some nuts. And the wife's there going, well, I guess I gotta, I gotta move on and probably marry a chipmunk or a muskrat or God forbid a possum. Sophie, say a prayer. If, um, if this kidnapping it's gonna take a while. Can we swing by and pick up my cat? I have no idea where we are. Sophie, do you have your compass? Oh, I left it back at the office. Do you wanna just stop by there real quick? I'll just run in and grab it. Barry, the road's ending up here. I know that. You are going to kill us. I knew it. Can I call my mother? No phone calls. Can we just pull over? Hey, they're pulling over here. Where am I gonna pull over? On the side of the road? I'm pulling over. All right, hold on a second. Jeez. Get out! Oh, Get right. out! Okay? Oh, I've goodness. had enough. You need to take, okay, let's a, go. take a relaxation like chemical. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, hey, hey, I thought we lost you guys. Hey, Chuck. Hey, Eddie. You see that deer? Yes, we almost hit it. Eight points on the head. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. All right. What are we doing here, Barry? What do you want? I want to right or wrong. End it all. Oh, boy. See? He is going to kill us. Yeah, this is not good. Get the bench. All right, get the bench. I yes. don't know. If... Listen to him. Go get the bench. Thank you very all much. Right. We should get this. I'll flex the blade and yeah. swing it around like you, like freaking the, the Tus Maconda. Help him with the bench. Hey, you done tie this. I didn't make all these freaking knots. Careful with the rope here. I can buy a shave. I'm thinking about getting a goat. Okay. Now take the bench and throw it off the cliff. I say what? Just just throw it, okay? Did you did you say throw my bench over the cliff? Throw it over the cliff! That's what I thought you said. I worked hard on this bench day and night. Day and night. You, really? You worked day and night on this? Day, day and night. No, I was over there two nights ago. And Chuck hard working and sweating like a running dog. Like a running dog, I was sweating, as Eddie said. Throw it off. Just, just throw no. it. No, no I'm not going to. Hold no, on. No, don't no. do it. Hey, no, throw it over. No, let no, no, throw no. it over Eddie the cliff. Hey, no, no. It's your funky bench. Throw it off the funky hill. 
Okay, I'll do it. I'll throw the bench over, over the cliff, as you requested upon me. Just give me a couple minutes here, Barry, with my bench here, my baby that I worked hard on. If I can just get a couple moments, last moments of its life here. Really? You need time with the bench? Turn around? Do you want me to turn around? Yeah, if you just, just turn your back for a second. I need some privacy, like in a, in a church where you're, you're giving a baptism. We should give him a minute, guys. This is really personal for him. I can't believe I'm doing this. Is everybody trying? Is everybody trying? Little bench, I'm sorry that you have to be thrown over like this so violently, like an orphan in some kind of firestorm. I apologize. No, come here. No, come here. What are you doing? Douglas, that's a bench! Uh, Done. My bench. Uh. Are we done being kidnapped now? Yeah, Barry. Are we done? Sorry, guys. I don't want to be a Dr. Doomsday, but no dumping. $10,000 fine. That's a lot of money. Wow. That seems excessive. Hey, hey, guys. Guys, what are you... Guys. Guys. Oh, come on. I hate Youngstown. The city of Youngstown's population at the height of its boom was 324,000. It's now 26,444. In 1952, the unemployment rate was 1%. Today, it's 49%. And underemployment accounts for 89% of those jobs. The remaining 58% of Mahoning County residents are incarcerated in federal, state, and county prisons. Is Y-Town dead? Hell no. Am I dead? Is the air dead? Are babies being born? Are kids eating hamburgers and french fries? A high school football team strapping it on for yet another battle. You damn straight. You see, we're still sweating here. We're bleeding here. We're laughing here. We're crying here. Yeah, we're dying here, but it's always been that way. Hell, people dying in Nova Scotia and Paris, you don't hear them crying and complaining. I'm no quitter. We're going to get through this because I'm leading the way. Look out, world. Mayor Davis White in Wide Town coming at you. Up in my town, they call it Wide Town. XYZ PDQ means you left your fly down. You better check it or brick it like Beckett. Before you fall harder, I suggest you better lie down. It's like Robin Hood then packed up and left. They used to call it robbery, but now it's petty theft. She gotta take some days, baby mama's bereft. Her hope is leaving. Yo, it already left. It ain't said stop at a roll, mama dama, roll, mama dama, roll, mama dama. It ain't said stop at a roll, mama dama, roll, mama dama, roll, mama dama. It ain't said stop at a roll, mama dama, roll, mama dama, roll, mama dama. 
four day, your week's a four day. Talking ain't never paid once, no matter what the horse say. We used to tip it when you get off the mill. Though your mouth is always running, I don't listen anyway. Saving duck is trying to get out of town. See, ain't no one ever call my ass, so why I stick around? You got me confused with some kind of clown. I'll bet down on the ground. Don't mess around, why take this? It's our bedroom, Mama Dama, Roll, Mama Dama, Roll, Mama Dama. But I'll keep those cars and let us come in Love will listen from your plan When you grow up to be a man I know you do all that you can To grow it all across this land Ain't no metropolis, been up Acropolis Like a mini mall, got hit by apocalypse I know your secrets now, where the bodies at Hide them like Houdini, but you know I know your box of tricks There ain't no ammo, I got me a knife I watch Kung Fu, now I know how to fight Shank is on the left, shit is on the right Shake it, got a YT duplex, and now I'm set for life It ain't since the federal 